I'm here today at the Chami Tveria in Tveria, and you can see behind me the bubbling of these waters. These waters are none other than the waters that are passing by the, the threshold of Gehenna. Goran Shavu says that why are these waters so hot? And in fact, there's a whole question on Shavu about cooking these waters because the overall Pisco shall Gehenna. And it was noted today that Gehenna has a lot of aspects to it. On one hand, it's not such a good place to go because it's quite hot over there and a person is punished quite heavily for his averas. On the other hand, you have this beautiful Chamei Tveria, which the Tanayim would walk for weeks to get here for the healing powers and for the relaxation and for the experience the effervescence, the invigorance of Chami Tveria. So, we learn here today that even we can thank even Hashem for Gehenim, because even Gehenim has a tzad tov to it. Even Gehenim has something good about it, which other places don't have. We're doing a film also. Want to be in a film also? I'm not going to say so. So, the thing is like this. The thing is that just like here in Gehenim, we can experience the Heat, the boiling, right? A person who sits here in these waters is actually can feel as if over there as well, as if there is the is boiling in Gehenna. Every avera that a person does, every word of Rosh Hashanah that a person speaks, this is what he's destined to face, and it's going to be much worse than this. This is only about 33, 34 centigrade. Um, apparently in Gehenna it's much, much hotter. So these are all things we can think about. About Pitzko Shul Gehenna and about Chami Tveria, the good side, the experience, and the flip side, which is Gehenna. One of the Rabbanim in Eretz Yisrael, the son-in-law of Rabbi Israel Tauber, Rav um, Nushtat, Rav Nushtat told us once, we once asked him a question um, about Gehenna. He said it's supposed to be in Gehenna. Right? Gehenim cleans you off of your Averas. It's a supposed to be in Gehenim. So we shouldn't underestimate the power of being in the boiling waters of uh, Gehenim. And there's something good to keep in Ben Isman. And a lot of times Ben Isman on vacation, people forget about Halacha, they forget about Lashon Hara, they forget about Liman Otera. We have to know that in all times that Din of Hashem exists. And these boiling waters of um, Chame Tveria can remind us of that fact. So let's all keep that in mind wherever we find ourselves on vacation in Chame Tveria, um, where else people go, Florida, um, the north of Israel, and to Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, wherever they might find themselves. Always remember, wherever you go, you're with Hashem, and keep this imagery in front of your eyes of the bubbling waters and that will help us to remember. I just want to finish up with one more point. Um, in a rush, we got off the bus here, and apparently we had forgotten our uh, clothing, my bathing suit and things like that, and my towel and everything we needed, basically. So I just came in fully clothed, basically, to the thing. And I realized that you don't need any accessories in life. Yeah? Everything is good. Everything I should I was only 12 minutes off the bus, and the bus driver disappeared to who knows where. We couldn't get hold of him. We realize that everything is good. Nothing bad ever happens. And don't let your vacation be, respo- be spoiled by the fact that the bus driver locked the bus and all your stuff is on it. Because everything is good. And nothing bad ever happens. Shem can help us always to remember Kalmat David Rahman the Tolbabit. Wherever we might be, wherever we're at, men can't wrote something.